Right, so uh, with oil hitting like, you know, I don't know, 100, 100 gazillion dollars, just looking at now, 124 is uh, WTI. Uh, gold, it looks like it's gonna crack 2,000. Um, coal, wheat, all going berserk on the back of Russia. The question is how do you, what trade do you put on to, um, to basically cash in. As I said on a previous video, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a shocker, really, to look at what's going in the world and then say, how am I going to trade what's going on in the market? Um, it's not pleasant. Um, it's a bit, um, it's a bit sick, really. Um, but uh, I think, as I said, the other time I've kind of felt anything like this really was when the um, September 11th when I was trading an options book and um, traded you know, it's like 30 hours straight something like that um, because just the, the markets were going berserk and I had options risk on and just had to keep hedging and re-hedging because of the, you know, the gamma risk that I had on very awful situation really but that's the name of the game um, so this really is about Russia commodities and Australia and the dollar, right? So this is, is, is questionable sources, right? But whatever. There's a lot of there's a lot of source out there about list of exports of Russia, right? Um, oil and gas, um, coal, um, wheat, gold. They're the kind of ones I'm going to, to, to look at, right? So they're, they're, they're big ones, right? I'm not going to look at oil because Australia is not really a big oil producer in the scheme of things, right? Um, but in terms of other commodities, um, you know, non-ferrous metals, um, coal, gas, wheat, gold, they're some of the big ones. So let's look at, that, that was Russia. This is Australia, right? So we've got iron ore, gas, again, oil and gas, coal, gold, meats and grains, right? So there's a bit of crossover there. When we look at the coal exports throughout the world, Australia's the biggest, Russia's number three, right? Okay, so you start wiping out Russia, right? The price of coal goes up, who's a big beneficiary? On the face of the planet, Australia is the biggest one. When we look at gold, right? Um, Russia is the third biggest. You know, you wipe out that, and that's roughly, you know, so call a quarter or whatever of the gold production. China's going to be on the nose as well, inevitably. Who are the, some of the biggest beneficiaries in the world of Russia's production being wiped out and the gold price spiking? Australia, right? In terms of wheat, um, Australia is a big wheat producer, number six in the world. Wipe out Russia and potentially Ukraine as well is, is got, got problems. Um, who are the biggest beneficiaries? Well, US, Canada, France, of course, Australia is a, a big one there. Right? Um, in terms of liquid natural gas, this is split into um, LNG, which is the dark blue, and light blue, which is the pipeline, right? But you wipe out Russia, which is the biggest. Australia is, of course, well, it's exported um, on LNG tankers because you can't get the pipes from Australia. We're in Ireland. Um, Australia, big, one of the biggest beneficiaries, right? Um, so that then says, so out of like coal, gold, wheat, natural gas, let's look at them, right? And look at it in terms of the Aussie dollar. This is uh, oil versus the Aussie dollar. Very healthy correlation. Look at this, you know, the Aussie dollar has been going uh, down, right? At the same time as gas has been going like through the roof. So it's tricky to kind of chase the oil price now, right? but it's not tricky to buy the Aussie dollar. Right? Let's have a look at another one, that's oil. Um, this is, oh, this is just the um, Goldman Sachs Commodity Index, right? So it's the whole, the basket of all the commodities. Again, we can see, um, you know, the Aussie dollar has been going down here, it's a line from another chat, and we can see the Goldman Sachs Commodity Index has been going up the whole way, right? It's had a very big spike as the Aussie's been going down. Doesn't happen that often. These things really do trade pretty well, like in tandem, right? Um, let's look at the next one. This is 
this is coal, right? So look at coal. Look how berserk coal has gone. You know, it is up, you know, a gazillion percent, right? And again, the Aussie's been coming off and coal has been going through the roof. Let's look at another one. Uh, this is, um, oh, this is wheat. Same thing, right? So I've got the Aussie dollar's been coming off. Wheat has been skyrocketing, literally vertical. And again, you know, there is a, a pretty healthy correlation. And so when you look at all of them, you know, these are the big ones. I haven't put uh, gold on there for some reason, whatever. Um, but um, I think, well, gold's kind of, bit more correlated to other things rather than the Aussie dollar. But in terms of the big exports that Russia and Australia have got in common, which is um, uh, coal, um, wheat, uh, and, uh, and liquid natural, and natural gas, um, the Aussie dollar has been lagging all of them. So although it's a tricky thing to kind of chase the individual commodities via futures um, which is you know what I do um, the macro trade really is the Aussie dollar um, and global macro hedge funds they trade the Aussie dollar the CAD the uh, Brazilian real and the South African rand as a basket for exposure to commodities so the Aussie dollar is a classic play at the moment in terms of having lagged that market now let's have a look where it is on the um, technicals here um, this is uh, weekly going back a long way because um, when you're looking at global macro stuff you really need to look at some long-term stuff right so we've got like a really nice as the Elliott wave guys would think a really nice five wave leg down here take it from the breakdown that first wave then back then to here where it bottomed out, that was 1.6. So this, the third wave was 1.6 of the first. It comes back. And then the uh, fifth one down was the same length as the third one, right? So you can see that it's a bit, um, it is a bit messy here. But that one, let me just put that in a different color. Let's make it green. No, oh, no, let's make it something else. <laughs> let's make it red. No, what are we gonna do? What's the colour that's going to stand out? Black, that'll do it. Yeah, you can see black there. So I've got blue. <laughs> see? Black comes back up here. Um, and that was the five waves. Now I think what we're looking at is like a five wave leg up. Um, and if we look at it from there, down to there, um, where's the extension? Um, if this is a third wave, then it'll need to be, according to Elliotitians, at least as long as that. That takes up to 94 cents. It's another 20 cents to go. Um, that's 20 grand on every Aussie dollar, 20 grand US on every Aussie dollar FX contract that you've got. Um, and um, I could easily see it going back to par, right? Very easily. Um, this could be an ABC, 85 minimum, 94 reasonable target. And seeing here, there's a bit of a gap in there. So to me, pretty compelling that it's going to go in here, and I think it's going to go um, go further. So I'm long. I've been long the Aussie dollar. Um, I had been short pretty much all of this move down here, but now it is definitely time to um, play it from the long side. Um, if we zoom in just a little bit closer, we can see what's happened in this trend here that has been broken. Um, you can see how it's clearly busted through there and it is it is off um, first point of call is here like 75 and that's really this little range here the same um, equidistant up to there um, definitely a buy on dips there's no way it's going back down with commodity prices where they are and I doubt that the sanctions on Russia and their quantities is going to ease up any time soon and let's face it if it does that's because the war has been settled. So great news, so I don't, don't mind losing some money on the back of great news. Anyway, that's, uh, that's about it. That is the snip du jour, as we used to say. Okay, ciao.